Hey guys, Minute here. I am back with a new video, and today I will be playing Battle Royale Thing Glory, as you guys can see by the title. I'll be playing alone, and I've got, while we're playing, a few things to talk about, just so that, well, even I can tell that my commentary is just too stale whenever I'm making a video, and it's, it's, it's brutal to watch. It's just gameplay. And my, big, and my gameplay isn't even good, so I gotta make up for it in commentary, so I think that's what I'm gonna be doing this episode. I have a few things to talk about. Actually, no, I don't. I'm just gonna have to come up with it right away. And I'm playing Rhyme, which is obviously gonna be very sucky, because I'm playing it. But, um, yeah, anyway. What should I talk about here? That's not, that's not a thing. You guys, I'll be right back and play the video when I know what I'm gonna talk about. So. I'm going to talk about the scariest thing that's ever happened in my life because I don't really remember it that well, but it was back three or four years ago. It was horrible, just the way I acted when it happened. And I was at like a Halloween type of thing where we went up to the tree and then we went to like a haunted house sort of thing on Halloween and I went in. I was about to get candy and stuff, like, that's the only reason I ever went to the freedom. Is because there was candy. So, I went to go and get candy from the person in the window, because it was, like, built into a house, sort of. And, uh... Sorry. And, uh... There was this big, like, grim reaper that crawled up to me. And it scared the absolute heck out of me. It actually just scared the life out of me. It, it, it was really scary. And I freaked out because it was like, I i don't even, I didn't even remember what that was. So I was just sitting there like, what do I do now? And yeah, the Grim Reaper at the end just walked up to me and tried to give me knuckles. And I was all like, heck no, you're not getting nothing from me. But, yeah, he walked up to me, and he was like, can I have bumps? He seriously said, can I have bumps? I'm like, um, uh, if you want. And I, like, it was horrible. As I said, this was back three or four years ago. It was back when I was ten, maybe even nine. I don't know. It was extremely funny, though, because in the end, I got my candy. And when he gave me bumps, I completely just dropped it. I didn't want anything to do with him. At all. So the second thing I'm gonna talk about is sup. How's life? Yeah. Again, I have no topic, so I gotta start making these. If you guys saw my video earlier, not earlier, but like a long time ago, where I was talking about stuff, <laughs> talking about uh the most annoying players in Vanglory, I completely mean like I'm completely serious when I say that th those players are. The most annoying players ever. So, like, everybody that it was talked about in that video, it's just straight up dumb how true it is. So, like, pingers, you guys have seen me rage, well, not rage, but like get a bit mad at pingers in this game once or twice before. <laughs> I'm just chasing around this Kashka. And I'm just about to die by her, too. But, I absolutely hate pingers in this game so much. It's unreal. There was this one time at a lake. I'm just kidding. But, I'm still going to get into the story that I'm about to talk about. Because I've been thinking about it lately, and I just want to say it. But, my grandpa... One of my grandpas that I don't really talk too much anymore. He owned... He owns, I don't know whether he owns it or not anymore, but he owned a lake, and, uh, in that lake, my uncle, Tom, he is over in California right now, gosh, what is this doing? um, he's somewhere, yeah, he bring my two cousins, Zach and Cole, over, and we all went fishing on a lake, on my grandpa's lake. 
and he let me use one of his fishing poles. And every fishing pole he buys for some reason are extremely expensive, like, they cost a lot of money, and I was using one of his expensive fishing poles, and I was sitting there trying to pull, I caught onto a fish, so I was just about to pull up, and then all of a sudden it jerks forward, and the fishing pole flies out of my hands into the lake. And after that, we couldn't find it at all. We couldn't find it, of course. We were like, I don't know. We were like in 15 feet water. This happened two weeks ago, actually. That's what it's like. It's haunting me. They're mad at me for it, too. <laughs> like, my parents are still like, why did you even do that? Like, bruh. They aren't saying exactly that, but like they're actually getting, they were actually really mad at me when it happened. Oh wow, is this called Crystal Saw? He is not used to the last name. But um, I'm going to the high school I want for at least one year. That, that's a good thing, maybe. I just ran completely out of things, and there goes that jewel. I bet. Yep, bye. Alright, well. One of the best plays I've ever had during Vanguard was when I was playing Adagio. This was back in my good old days when I was really, really good at Adagio. Like, I can never say that I did that good at Adagio, but it was unbelievably good, that gameplay that I did. This was back the good old days. Yeah, but I would just play so good 24-7. I have a little lisp in my S. I don't know, that always catches on me when I'm watching videos and stuff, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I was playing Adagio, and I got pretty much a triple kill. It was the luckiest triple kill I've ever gotten in this game. I was... It was 1v3, all of the enemies were at full health. I'm not even joking when I say all of the enemies were at full health. And I went in, used my first ability, and then I used my third ability and nuked them all. And because I had a clockwork, I was able to get my first ability back in. If you guys don't know what its abilities are, first ability heals, second ability gives you a buff. Third ability is just a huge nuke that also stuns if you have them on first ability fire. So... I put all the enemies on fire with my first ability, using my third ability, stunned them all, and since I was going crystal, they were already at half health by that point. Then I used my first ability and my third ability. I was able to kill two of them right away without, like, taking too much damage. And then... I just started just not even... Wait, what was I about to say? <laughs> um, and then I just started... Oh my gosh, I just brain farted horribly. This is one of the worst brain farts I've ever had. I even forgot what I was talking about. Um, oh yeah, and then I used my second ability and I murdered two. And then by the time the third one came up, I... He was facing me down. I had low health and he had three health, but I still have my attack buff on. And he still had his uh, little defense buff, I guess. Well, not, no. What am I talking about? He still had a lot of things. Oh my god, I'm so crazy right now. He's, he still had like half health is what I meant by that. He still had half health and I had like one fifth, I would say. And I still had my attack buff on me and I still had him on fire. And I just, the perfect, the best thing I've ever done. I stutter stepped him so hard, and he was uh, cruel too. So he had he had four stacks on me, four out of eight stacks on me, and he almost just whooped the heck out of me. But I somehow came back. I killed him, and he got two hits off at me before I died. And in the end, we did win the game because I was able to push two turrets down with that. Sorry, I'm like really getting intense gameplay right now, guys. Everybody here 
Do you mind just never talking to me anymore? Because this is horrible. And as you guys see, Tong, like, gets, always gets the Tong kills. How does that do so much damage? He's going to love him, right? Yeah, I love him. I love Tong. Tong is always good at the game. He's just... Tong is my best friend. Sorry, I'm, like, thinking of stuff to do as I'm just muttering here. I honestly think that this duel is awesome right now. Where's the duel going? Compared to me. The duel is doing so much better. The duel got frostburn too. And I'm gonna start getting a mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna start getting armor now. Because it really bothers me the amount of armor that these guys have. So. You guys want another tutorial in this game? Because so I'm in the middle of fighting enemies. Okay, so, right now I'm not doing the best. I'm just going to talk about the game for a little while, because I haven't done that yet. So, I'm playing a character that I never play, and I think that's contributing to the fact that I suck. Right now, because I actually completely do. I've never played this character, believe it or not. So, what should I talk about? Well, if you guys have ever played Call of Duty, what am I talking about? I just gotta stop right now. Why was I talking about Call of Duty? Alright, I'm just gonna stop the video and then bring it back when I think of something to talk about. Oh my god. Okay, so since earlier I was talking about stuff on the lake and... How my grandpa owned a house on the lake. I don't know whether he does anymore or not. But when I was younger, like again, three or four years ago. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. When I was younger, three or four years ago, yeah, um, we were, I guess we could say, going on up. Okay. Okay, just let me recollect my thoughts real quick. So, I was always afraid of jumping up the dock. My cousin Zach and Cole, the ones that live far away right now, are, like, they were, they just wanted me to jump off the edge of the dock, which jumped into, like, six-foot water, and even though I would have a life jacket on, I wouldn't want to, no matter what. And they would get, like, extremely mad at me for not being brave, they said. Yeah, they just got really mad at me all the time for not doing it. And then, I haven't seen them for three or four years, by the way. Well, yeah, I, well, yeah, maybe. I saw them three or four weeks ago. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I haven't seen them in a while other than that. They were, like, my best friends in a nutshell. But I would never jump off the dock. And then they finally threw me into the dock. Into the dock? Yeah, into the dock. No, they threw me into the dock. Finally. And I, after that, have never been afraid of jumping off the dock anymore. It's, like, stupid because it's only, like, 10 feet water. And they were right there to help me in case anything happened. But still, it was hilarious because they would get so mad at me for never jumping off the dock. We would be like, you're such a sissy. Stop. Just jump off the dock. And I'm like, no, you guys are so mean to me. Oh my gosh. Stupid evasive. Cool. So we won this game, I'm pretty sure, if we can rush fast enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna end this game real quick and then up in the episode. But Zach and Cole, the two people that I was talking about, they're both not twins, but one of them is I think 16 and the other one is 18. They were like my best friends. We would play lacrosse together. We would go.
go fishing together, all that fun stuff. Well, until the last time I talked to them. Because, like, you know. <laughs> that jewel jumped up. We go fishing together. They were, they were like my best friends. And I, and I don't mean that, like, in any joke possible. They were seriously pretty much my best friends. Um, I would talk with them all the time, no matter what. Yeah, I, I love them. They're my cousins. Get my chest. Get my Tanglorian 3 items there. But yeah, guys, I reached level 22 last episode. I'm about to le reach level 23, probably the next episode that I do. Because I'm going to play a few more matches today, and then I'm going to do an episode with Tong. But, um... Anyway, guys, I will see you next episode. Uh, me and Tong will likely have more topics to do. Because I'm definitely going to, like, stay up. Well, not stay up. It's 9 in the morning. 9.30 in the morning. 9.40. But I'm just gonna, like, sit here and think. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next episode.